Well, uh, we made a lot of friends, right? It's like family. Yeah, family, yeah. Big family. <laughs> and your team understand you as a human, what, what you, ability you have, what you can do. I actually think I'm a little spoiled. <laughs> Everything I want, they say, yeah, okay, we'll work it out. Just tell us, we'll figure it all out. It's like when I have a trainee, it's like, well, I have to be home at this time. Okay, sure, no problem. Literally every single person I talk to is 100% completely supportive. But when I phone in and I'm, I'm stressed out, because let's face it, as a driver, you get into situations where you're stressed out. The dispatchers, fleet managers, no matter who I talk to, they're very supportive, they're understanding, they, they take whatever I'm giving them, and uh, they're doing it with a smiling face and, and just want me to feel okay and get out of that situation as best I can. We had a breakdown, our tire blown up. So like Gil was driving, we just gave them one call. Everything fixed up in three hours and we were in state. So that's amazing. I was really surprised at their hands-on approach and how, how open they are with talking about it and how they're, they're willing, the doors open. They actually seem genuinely to care about the drivers and their safety and the safety of everyone around them. Anywhere you can go so you can see the bison trucks. Yeah. If you need anything, they're gonna stop and you know. Yeah. Wave, wave the hands like that, you know. You know, even, even as sad of a moment as it was for me when my father passed, I was just about ready to start my trip. I was just five minutes away from heading out the door to go and take my load to California, and he fell. And I got the phone call, and immediately it was like, you give us a call when you're ready to go. It wasn't for three weeks, but immediately it was like, you do what you need to do and feel feel right and get into yourself in the right mindset to drive and, and we'll be here for you when you do.